Transplantation isn't for everybody. It's reserved for patients with a severe end of heart failure and undergoing assessment for transplant involves numerous tests. To be accepted for transplant, the team need to make sure your chances of surviving are better with transplant than with ongoing tablet therapy. We can estimate your chances of survival on tablet therapy by assessing your exercise capacity, measuring your blood tests such as BNP, measuring your cardiac output, litres of blood your heart can pump in a minute, and overall symptom burden. We know that the one-year survival following heart transplantation in the UK is 85%. Five-year survival is 75%. Approximately 50% will survive more than 11 years following transplantation. The team need to assess if the rest of you is healthy enough to survive surgery and recover. During your assessment, the team needs to know if you have any other serious medical condition which is likely to affect your outcome after a heart transplant. For example, if you have an act of infection, significant kidney failure, liver failure or high blood pressure in the lungs, also known as pulmonary hypertension, then your chance of surviving heart transplant are significantly reduced. It's particularly important that your kidneys work well because kidney problems are a possible side effect of some of the medicines that you will need to take after your transplant. It is also important to know what the blood pressure in the lung is. If the pressure in your lung is too high, pulmonary hypertension, it means that a newly transplanted heart is less likely to function satisfactorily and so you may not be accepted onto the transplant waiting list. Some patients may be eligible for a mechanical heart, while others may be too sick for any surgery. In either case, we will continue to provide you support for your medical needs and symptom relief. If it is deemed that you are not a suitable candidate for either heart transplant or LVAD surgery, we will inform your referring cardiologist and will involve the palliative care team. If transplant is the right option for you, you will be put on a waiting list. Most patients wait at home and are seen regularly in clinic. However, very sick patients may have to wait in hospital before a suitable heart becomes available. After your transplant assessment is complete, your team of doctors, nurses and surgeons and allied health professionals will discuss whether heart transplant is the best option for you. If heart transplant is not the right option for you, the reason will be shared with you. We encourage you to ask questions. Before going on to the transplant waiting list, you will need to meet a member of the transplant coordinator team to complete the required paperwork and consents. They will provide you with all the information you need about heart transplantation in example risks, benefits, complications and any other information necessary. Time on the waiting list varies from days to months or even years. While patients wait their condition may change, a few patients will improve while others will become sicker, resulting in them in being temporarily suspended from the waiting list. Some may be removed from the waiting list and for some others palliative care may be the option. It can feel difficult trying to get on with life and the uncertainty can be stressful. We have resources available to help you cope at this time. A heart can be identified at any time. You must be easily reachable and always ensure we have the most up-to-date contact information. If a suitable donor heart becomes available, then we will contact you and ask you to come to Herfield Hospital as soon as possible. Upon arrival, you will be admitted to the transplant ward, where our transplant team will prepare you for the surgery. Please do not eat or drink and please bring all your medications with you along with any personal items which you will need while you are in hospital. While you are being prepared for surgery, the donor heart is continuously being assessed by the surgeon. If the heart is not suitable, surgery will not go ahead and will be cancelled. If the surgery is going ahead, it can take six to eight hours to complete. You will be under general anaesthesia. To get access to your heart, your surgeon will open the chest by cutting through the breastbone of the chest. This means you will be left with a vertical scar at the end of the operation, which starts at the top of the chest and ends at the beginning of the stomach. You will be connected to a heart-lung bypass machine to maintain your body's circulation while your surgeon performs the transplant. Once your surgeon has completed the heart transplant, the bypass machine will be slowly turned down for your new heart to take over. Your chest will be closed and the skin sutured and dressed. The surgeons will insert several drains in your chest. Sometimes if the new heart cannot fully support your circulation, you may need to be temporarily supported with a mechanical pump, ECMO. After surgery, you will be brought to the intensive care unit. Most patients will be woken from the anaesthesia within first 24 to 48 hours. When you awake, you will be on a breathing machine 
until you are strong enough to breathe on your own. You will see tubes and lines that were put in during the operation. These will be removed as you get better. You'll receive many medications. When you no longer require care in the ICU, you'll be taken to Rowan Ward or General Transplant Ward, where you will meet the rest of the transplant team. The team will help you get stronger, teach you about your new medications, and prepare you to leave hospital. We encourage you to become an active partner in your care and to learn about your health.